Okay, I'd like to call the town board meeting of the town of Lake Mills to order on this Thursday, October 4th at 8.10 p.m. The notice was posted at the town hall, the North End Boat Launch, and the cul-de-sac at Finch Brothers Road and also on the town's website. Item two on the agenda is the adoption of the agenda. I'll make a motion to approve uh, October's agenda as printed. And I'll second that. Is there any discussion on the agenda? Hearing none, all in favor of approving the agenda as published, please say aye. Aye. Aye, and all opposed the same sign. The agenda is approved. Item three, approval of the minutes from our September meeting. I'll make a, a motion to approve September 11th minutes as printed. I'll uh, second it. Is there any discussion on the minutes from the meeting? Hearing none, all in favor, please say aye. Aye. And all opposed, the same sign. The minutes from the September 11th, 2018 minute, um, meeting are approved. Item four, approval of the treasurer's report. Did you want to do the amendments to the disbursements? Yes, first? let's do the amendments first. I'll make a motion to approve the amendments from September's disbursements from eight, $83,427.62 to $94,153.88. And I'll second that. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of approving the September amended disbursement total, please say aye. 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 And I'll, oppo I'll oppose to that, the same sign. Thanks, Sharon. Mm -hmm. Sorry that was a problem for you. Um, now, the treasurer's report for October 2018. I'll make a motion to approve October's treasurer's report. And I will second that. Is there any discussion on the October report? Hearing none, all in favor of approving the 2018 treasurer's report, please say aye. 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 And all opposed, the same sign. Thank you very much. That approves the October 2018 treasurer's report. Item five, approval of the general funding vouching and a discussion on dis dis dispersing at budget, budget workshop. This is how Sarah and I decided we would solve the problem of getting bills paid on time. Yeah, but I wonder if we even need to do it before then. Because I kind of looked back at what the, some of those due dates are and it's gonna be more like mid-month. The quick trip for sure is the 25th. Mm -hmm. the I've got the 20th. Oh, 20th, okay. Are there others that we need to take The ones care? that we have outstanding are the utility companies and, yeah, the quick trip and possibly a few others. Those aren't guaranteed, but the utility companies are not concerned with. Okay. How would we handle that well, then? Well, we could say that the three of us will do our checks mid-month at an amount not to exceed, if you want to do that, if we can. And then just fill in the amounts, the actual amounts later. So what are we doing at Sarah because we're so early in the month? Yes, you know, so that yes. We, yeah, okay. we don't have all of the- And that'll be, instead of 30 okay. days, it'll be 60 right, days. Right, exactly. Yeah. We'll end up with weak fees, it's my fear. Okay, so this is my suggestion. Okay. Um, that works for me, let's pick a date. 15th, mid-month. Okay, the trouble is, I'm at the town's convention okay. until this Tuesday afternoon, noon the 17th. Okay. Oh, yeah. Are you there that week? Here that week? In two weeks? Yeah. Well, is normally the 17th we would have Wednesday. Yeah. Tuesday? How about yes. next Friday? 12. I'm gone. Oh, okay. All right, well, then I guess we'll just. Wait till the 18th? <laughs> yeah. 18th. Well, You're what, in the building on the 18th. What bills are you I'm getting the on the... Yes. We need Alliant, City Lake Mills Light and Water, Quick Trip. Quick Trip will be available pretty soon. We don't have the Lake Mills School District one because our, um, yeah. you know about that deal. 
Maybe you don't. Mm -mm. The uh, country acres is delinquent oh. by a few months. Oh. Um, oh. We talked to him in August. I did in the beginning of August. And he said, I'll have a check in the mail next week. I didn't get it. I called him the end of August. And I said, I didn't receive it yet. Oh, well, it's, you know, he's got his excuse. Accounting issue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he said, I'll have it in the mail next week. And it wasn't there. So Sarah sent him an invoice. And he said, oh, I'll have it there next, next week. week. That was two, three weeks ago. So now I sent him an updated invoice with late charge on it. And we haven't gotten it yet. OK. I'm guessing there's a, there's a state law violation here somewhere because this is tax money he's yeah. and collecting he's, and not. Yeah. If he's collecting it every month from his right. People. Right, yeah. And that's that's a quite a bit of money, actually. Yeah. yeah. Okay, mm. so that one's outstanding as well. Wow. Okay, what are we going to do about that? Mm -hmm. All right. I don't know. I can let you know when I've got everything. We well, let's just do this. We know that we're going to have this meeting here on the 18th. <coughs> let's just plan for the 18th. How's that? We're still going to be late. Right? I don't remember what date the city is always to what. It's either the 20th or the 30th. I think, it's, I think it's later. Well, let's kick it out on the 18th. I don't know how you can change it. Okay, what time of the day are you talking about? Well, you and I can get it put together. I mean, She's just all I get is the city going to ding us with the if you you float one or two days or what? Mm -hmm. I think it's an automatic. I think their system does it. Okay. It mm -hmm. it. And that's yeah. is that what a dollar, two dollars, or whatever? Yeah. And Quick Trip will want their money, or they want to get the police shut. department getting gas. Yeah, they'll shut you off. Well, we want to go earlier? Yeah. Well, yeah. No. well, normally we would have done it on the 9th. So anytime, really, that next week, I guess, we'll have, we should have, all of these things should be here anytime now. Well, you want to work for the, towards the 9th, just like we would normally do? Yeah. <laughs> I know, but. OK. Um, I'm putting it on my calendar here. OK. I guess that solves that problem, yeah, huh? Yeah, well. Does that work for you girls? I'm around doing we'll stuff here. We'll make it work. Anyway. All right. Um, okay, where are we? Um, Fun zone, Chief. Yeah. I'll make a motion to approve October's disbursements of $36,342.74. And I'll second that. Yeah, is there any discussion on the disbursements? Any questions? I do not see anything. All right. All in favor of approving the October 4th disbursements of $36,342.74, please say aye. 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 And those opposed, the same sign. The disbursements are carried. Now, um, so, okay, whatever. <laughs> I'll let you know when I've got it all. Yeah, and if we have to Go do it there. again on October 23rd, then we will, okay? Because we know we're going to be here for that. Catch up, huh? Yeah. All right, sorry to make that so difficult. Uh, moving on. Item 6, reports. Matt, the police report. <coughs> uh, the boat patrol for the month of September logged 83 and a half hours of patrol hours on the lake. Eight and a half hours of administrative hours for a total of 92 hours. They issued seven boating uh, citations, did 12 safety compliance checks, and assisted one vessel. For the road patrol, we had 44 hours of road patrol, handled two uh, complaints, uh, had 16 traffic stops, 15 warnings, seven citations. We ran 11 and a half hours of stationary radar. Issued three ordinance violation citations, did two residence checks, and 12 park checks for the month of September. The boat is off the lake. We actually had to get it off earlier than the 9th. City was taking the piers out, so it was taken off on Tuesday. The guys will winterize the boat motor on the 9th instead, make sure that's all cleaned up and vacuumed. 
And then the PWC was also taken off on Tuesday nights at Rob's right now getting service and winterize there. We don't have the skills to winterize that one. But other than that, uh, so the boat season is coming to an end. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Anything else? Um, oh, the old squad car. So we posted that for 2000 on eBay. We had nobody bid mm -hmm. on it. Which I was really kind of, and that's lowered it from 3000 So the next step is, I guess I can ask for permission to lower it down to 1500 Well, here's the next step. The next step is, I ran an, uh, an ad in the Lake Mills Leader okay. for the squad, the tractor, <coughs> oh, okay. and the PWC. Okay. With the um, minimum bids included, and we will open those bids on the 23rd oh, during okay. our budget meeting. Well, I guess that might take care of it so I don't have to put it back on eBay. Well, let's wait and see what happens, okay? When, when is the bid supposed to be in by again? Um, I think I made it to the 22nd. 22nd. So that we can more. open it on the 23rd. Yeah, I was hoping to get more for that car than when we are getting here. And I did put a minimum bid in there. I guess we'll just have to negotiate here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? If, we I, have I, to... if I interject yeah. on that, folks, um, you know, Wisconsin Auction Service in Mount Cora does that for a lot of municipalities. I know nothing about them yeah. other than doing some towing out there. Yeah. There might be an idea right. for them. Yeah. eBay, we usually get more money off of. That's why we went with that program, but and I am familiar with them. And so um, I said that all of these vehicles would be available for viewing at the town hall. Oh. Um, so if you, if I get any um, questions about that tractor, with the weather being as wet as it's going to be, yeah, tractor is going to stay in the shed. Yeah, or if you want it down here, I can wash the dust off and bring it down. <laughs> if somebody wants to come and view it, or they can come out. Yeah, there is too. that okay with yeah, you? That's fine. If they know they're coming, we can. And the car is clean. It's vacuum. It's yeah, overall. It's already. Yeah. It's it's set to be viewed. It's ready to go. It okay. Runs great. Yeah. All right. Well, and back to Wisconsin Surplus, they will do that as um, uh, no charge to the township. But I thought, well, we just, we don't have to mess with it. We just put an ad in the paper and take care of it. Sure. Good news is the ad goes out in a free paper, not this week, but next week. So uh, good coverage. And I said everyone who sh wants to bid on it should use a plain envelope and write either PWC lift, car or tractor and then oh, we'll great. open those up that'll be good what's all wrong with the tractor needs new tires yeah rear tires are like 30 percent or less Other otherwise it's functioning well. yeah it runs runs good yeah how many horsepower does it have i think it's what is that uh, oh, i don't know this either i didn't put that in 70 maybe you have to read the paper. What, what's, what's the minimum bid on that that you're trying to get? Twelve hundred. Yeah, twelve thousand. Twelve thousand. Twelve thousand. Yeah. Like, I'm like, I'm like, all right. Hard to skip. Sorry. <laughs> no. <laughs> so um, that's the plan. Yeah. Sounds we'll good. see what happens. Yeah. You know, we don't. We have the right to reject. refuse or reject whatever bids come in. Okay, that's great. Ready to clean that up. Okay, Matt. Also, I think we should, for public record, um, the Rock, Rock Lake Improvement Association um, asked the officers at their annual meeting if there's anything they really wanted, and they said an onboard PC. And so those guys have come up with a bid for it, and I'm going to turn that over to the Improvement Association and see how they feel about it. You want to look at it? Yeah. Onboard technology. Yeah. Yeah, same as we got. So one. thanks. Um, I think it would be the appropriate time for us to read that letter. Oh, all right. I was Great very time. proud of our Great police report. force. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it's the same as the school. We got a letter oh, from. Right? I got the bill. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm only got the bill. Ferry Drive. Let's turn it over. Regarding yeah. Officer Jepson, dear Hope, it has been a while since we last spoke, and I hope all is well with you and all who serve the township. I regret it has taken so long for us to communicate once again, and I must really ask you just what in the world is going on in the township. I had a relatively recent incident that I feel obligated to report to you and I hope my comments are considered and appropriate, and appropriate action is taken. This letter is about Officer Cody Jepson, badge number 6339. A few weeks ago during a stormy period, my sailboat evidently was blown or knocked off its lift and landed in the lake. 
Water evidently quickly filled it, as I could tell from the amount of sand and seaweed subsequently found in it. Officer Jepson was patrolling the lake and keenly observed the sail mast, but could not see a boat with it. He investigated and saw that my sailboat had sunk during the storm. He learned we were not home and used good investigation tactics to get my wife's cell phone number from a governmental agency. He tried calling her, but she was at work in Madison and unavailable. The next step, Officer next step Officer Jepson took was to get out of his patrol boat and recover my sailboat. He uprighted it, drained it of water, maneuvered it back onto its lift, and opened the second drain ballast. Who in the world does such a good deed? <laughs> Much less a uniformed officer who had to jump in the lake to do this all on his own initiative. How does the, off the police force train for this type of thing? How do you find officers with this kind of character? These are impossible things. So hats off to the village and police force for finding such a person as Officer Jepson. He is a man to be admired. This is the type of story to be told in the schools and newspapers so that others know who is out there protecting and serving the public. I am so proud to call Lake Mills and Rock Lake my home. Sincerely, Tim Murphy. I think that's pretty oh, fantastic. <laughs> pretty fantastic. Yeah. As I read the letter, I thought, uh-oh. <laughs> I know. You set us up. That's what I was thinking. That's the exact same thing. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you want to read that? Uh -huh. I was very proud of him. <laughs> well, they were leading us down really? that path. <laughs> well, I was really proud long. of him, and I congratulated him the other yeah, day when yeah. I saw him. I said, "That's really something." And um, he said that he was really afraid when he saw the mass sticking out of the water that someone might be attached to the boat. Yeah. And so I was really proud of him for. Yeah. Good it probably was warm too. <laughs> so, I think it's really neat, Matt, that you have him as well trained as you have. And I, I asked him if he was returning, and he said yes. And I said, "You promise?" Second year so far. So yeah. Sorry. So that's great. And I think he comes down from the Dallas. Yeah, too, I think it's really yeah, great. Price Super. So thanks a lot, and thank you, Mr. Murphy, for that nice yes. letter. Uh, B Joint Rock Lake Committee. I threw into your mailbox the close to the being done with peer ordinance. Right. They did yep. make a few corrections on it. I just wanted you guys to have the heads up on that. They made a few corrections on Tuesday night. Yeah, I have that. We also had um, Steve Fields at our meeting, who is a city council person, and Dan Drescher. Um, we discussed the similarities in the two boating ordinances, the cities and the towns, and the ICE ordinance, looking for some common ground. And um, the interpretation that the city has is that the lake is really under the jurisdiction of the town of Lake Mills. And nowhere has that really been formalized. And so what we decided was that that would be formalized in an agreement when they make us a payment on their portion of the lake patrol. Oh, all right. Well, that will that's serve as our yeah. jurisdictional agreement for the lake. So that's why well, that in the ordinance. happens annually, though. What do you, you mean? Yes. With, okay. Um, well, we'll see what they do. They're, we oh. just thought we should make it official. Really, the city has no desire to police the lake and or have anything to do with it other than to make that payment. And so we thought that would be a good way to make that official. Okay. So that's why in the ordinance where uh, the mill pond is scratched out, that becomes part of the Their, lake patrols. Yes. Okay. All right, I was wondering about that. Yeah. Part of the <clears throat> Well. Uh, yeah, it's a patrol, not because it's city. But oh, right, right. Okay. Wow. All right. Are you, is that patrol now? I don't. Oh, they don't usually get in there, but yeah, the PDC yeah, okay. does go in there. Uh, okay. okay. It wouldn't matter. It doesn't. I don't know how that's written, but it, it, as long as it's hooked by water, it doesn't matter which jurisdiction it's in. Okay. okay. We can still enforce yes. laws on yes. it. Uh, okay. So, and you know the other agreement that we had is if anything tragic or um, any emergency develops, we are always in a position to assist them and they to assist us. And so that was agreed upon. Um, I don't know whether they will look to change any of their boating ordinances or ice ordinances, but ours will remain intact. So that reminds me of something. Yes. Ask um, Matt if. 
something were to happen, say at an election, and I needed assistance from the police department, would I have to call the city? Yes. How much sense does that make? Well, because it's a, it's a no, city I mean, address. I know, but is there? Any... We do have jurisdiction here too, but I would call we the do. city. Yes. We do. We, we do. You? Okay. Because we own it. Okay. But the city also has jurisdiction here. Yes. It's kind of a weird set setup. You would have much better response time. Yeah, because right. yeah, I don't know sure. if you're going to have a guy on. You don't want to sure. wait for a sheriff's deputy. I just, this I is a city they, address. They would send a city yeah. officer if you call for help. Okay. Guaranteed. This is not a county address. Right. So. <clears throat> okay. You're anticipating trouble? No. No, I think it's good thinking. Yes. Good planning. Yeah. Well, we have a contingency a plan. Yeah, and I'm great. doing training next Sunday, so I've been reviewing everything. And sure, that's a good idea. Good. Okay. Sarah said it's like planning several events per year. <laughs> <laughs> planning an election. Could it you plan is. the weather then too? Yeah, uh, please. No. We'll pay you extra. All right. Commission. So that's where the Joint Rock Lake Committee is. They're looking at that peer ordinance, and um, <laughs> we hopefully will have that from them so that we can begin working on that. Item C is the Planning Commission report, which will be really short, right, Lee? That's correct. We did not meet on Tuesday. <laughs> Seems a little uncanny. Mm. There will be one in November. I have something. Okay. Um, item D, other committee reports. David. Ah, uh, fire commissioners met again. Um, engine one, we have the $250,000 from the municipality. Um, Commitments, we got $10,000 in donations, and we're still hoping to get, you know, the 250000 from um, the uh, foundation, but those applications haven't been put out yet. Then we also took our, uh, for the uh, equipment, the fire department re equipment reserves, uh, the CD is due the first, uh, right around the 1st of January. So we went ahead and do, are going to deplete that account, which had $46,500 in it, and add it to the municipality fund for the fire truck. So that gives us $296,500 for that. Um, the other thing is, is the Town of Christiana um, agreement, then I'll talk about that in a little bit. So anyway, financially, on the fire commission, we have checkbook, $54,058. Building reserve, $51,540. Uh, fire equipment, we emptied that account. The EMS reserve is $25,000. Even though there's $54,000 in the checkbook, um, we also have one more payment, quarterly payment, com coming from the town of Oakland of $38,324, which would give us $92,381. We have three months to go, and it sounds like a lot of money, but if you subtract out the money that we've taken from the association run money, that really technically puts us in the whole $10,000, even though we show a plus number in there. Um, when we started out, when we had Steve Zack, the lawyer, when we went through all the intergovernment agreements, there was about $300,000 in that account. We've already dipped into it um, for $100,000 for to uh, help offset wages. Uh, the, again, we've held this budget so tight. We're mandated by the state statutes to be um, manned 24-7. The problem with this is the paid employees is ahead of our budget. So we're trying to do all this catch up and that's why when we get into the budget, you're gonna see why it's went up so much. Financial statement for the, uh, on the association budget, checking $51,835. Their building reserve is 51,548. Uh, equipment uh, EMS reserves 25,266. Uh, and then, of course, the fire department, we have scratched that one out, so. Anyway, budgets. We spent a ton of time on the budget, which you have a copy there, Hope, and mm -hmm. so do you, Lee. Okay, okay that's mine, yeah. all right. <clears throat> so if you go down there, there, where you see the EMS wages um, for the full-time, part-time, paid on call and the stipends, um, we are, 
that's $437,833. That's up about 50%. I don't have the 18 numbers in front of me here. So that's gonna be the big one. Uh, the other really big one is the workman's comp. Workman's comp went up uh, quite a bit last year, like about $18,000. This year it's going up another $20,000, so it's going to be over $40,000. So those are the big ones. Um, but anyway, that's a big hit for that one there. Anyway, running down through this thing, when we first started out, our budget increase was going to be 104%. So what we did was we went back into the association budget and we took another fifty thousand dollars out to add into our 2019 budget which then lowers our increase to 87 percent so you can if you look on you can see on oakland what they pay cambridge what they pay christiana what they pay and then Lake Mills, we're the winner. You know, we only paid $19,532. But if we would have had the 104% increase, we would have been at like $27,000. So we did carve it down. I don't know whether there's any other place that we can carve anymore. Um, you guys do have the right to reject this budget and make us go back through and go through this again and again. Um, there's one thing that um, we did not factor into this is we are trying to get into transport business and we could not put anything in there because that's not a certainty on how much money that would be to help offset our budget. A couple of other little things in there is we are going to become a paramedic service. So um, that's, we have to have a locked up what I'm going to call a party room because there's going to be narcotics there. Um, so there's going to have to be a safe and additional administration, administrative things, but um, hopefully that'll bring us in additional revenue. Now, we had a closed session meeting and out of that came the purchase of the pizza pit and also one house that's there um, from Sammy. I don't, can't remember where her last name is, but she has the BP, the hotel, the pizza pit, and that home. So we have a purchase agreement for $280,000, which is, I think, quite reasonable. That does not include the, the equipment in the building. So that, that does not include that. Um, we all would have had to have uh, brought this to the electors to seek out and purchase property, but the town of Christiana have a pretty good nest egg. So the town of Christiana went to uh, their electors, had it approved, their lawyer uh, went in and wrote this agreement for um, the municipalities. So anyway, this was approved at our last meeting. Um, and basically, really, Steve Meyer, the owner of the Pizza Pit, has a three-year lease on this property. And if for some reason we would decide to develop before that lease is up, then we would have to leave, look for a place for him. So personally, I'm thinking we need a little corner fire station that has a pizza pit in it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's all another story. So anyway, then that's revenue raising. <laughs> yeah, well, it's you know, always. Um, so anyway, uh, uh, Hope and Sarah, you guys have to sign this thing. And I know you haven't had a really a chance to look at this, but our next meeting is going to be the twenty seventh. So if we, if you want to wait to approve this until the twenty third then I can take it to them on the 27th. So it does not have to be done now. Um, in the future, what's going to happen here, because there was such a reasonable offer to purchase that, 
somewhere probably within the next two years, three years, we as um, municipalities and townships are going to have to run a referendum to purchase this property from the town of Christiana, which this agreement is a must buy, must sell agreement, and also to build a new fire station. As far as being able to connect right onto what we existing have, ex the building we already have there in the property, it is going to be the best money saving um, tactic that we've ran across. And besides that, that fire station is very centrally located. So um, I guess unless you have any questions, that's kind of the dog and pony show of the whole thing. But well, who's paying the interest to Town of Christiana? Oh. Uh, the two percent a year would be paid by the other four members of the uh, uh, commissioners. So how much does that cost us? You know, I I, I don't know because we haven't really finalized we did the finalized the numbers yet. Right now, it looks like possibly that the rent that they would be receiving is going to way outweigh any type of you know interest or anything. So. But, so yeah, I don't know what that number is. Other than it was 280,000, so I suppose if you took 2% of that, it would give it to you. But is that, but is the 200, is it the 280 broken up then amongst, you know, like, like everything else is, it's not right. equal? Yeah, okay. it would be, uh, okay. correct, yeah, you're right. All right. So percentage. Yep. <laughs> so anyway, then in this agreement, the town of Christiana buys it for 280000 They get to collect the rent money, and they also have to pick up the maintenance, and then uh, whenever we decide to do anything with the uh, fire station, then um, we would be able to purchase that from the town of Christiana for 280000 The other reason for this agreement is between now and when this transaction happens, you never know who is going to be on that board so it protects the town of Christiana and it also protects all the municipalities because then they can't come along and say I want a half a million for it or something like that or we can't back out of it so so what I'm hearing from you is that they're gonna wait at least three years before they start even making plans to build no guarantees but potentially yes. okay. <clears throat> so if you don't, if we don't do anything with that to approve it, because that does have to be approved here, then it would need to be put on the agenda for the 23rd. Can we do that with it not on the agenda for tonight or not? Well, committee reports. I think we can do it because we are talking about committee reports. But obviously, hope you haven't had a chance to look at it. Sarah, you have not either. And your name is going on it, so if you want to wait till the 23rd, that's fine. I think we should wait till the 23rd and put it on our okay. agenda then. I don't think it's going to change much. No. Okay. Just a, just a chance for you to yes. study it as well. So we'll make a note of that to put it on the agenda. Did you have any communications with Steve at all about the yeah, equipment? No, he's got to write the first refusal. Right, yes, correct. Yeah, he does, yes. Yep. Yeah. That's the basic value. Right. But he also has assurances that they'll find another place for him. Right. Yeah. So. Who's in charge of finding him another place? Uh, the commission would be. In if they if they don't wait three years. Correct. Yeah. Otherwise, he's on his own. Still have to find him a place. Well, where the lease ends, I think that's where. When the lease ends, correct. Yeah. But until then, we have an agreement with him. Okay. We got this from Terry, too. Um, thanking us for approving the funding for the engine. <clears throat> and we, it says, we would appreciate your town's assistance in identifying your residents who might be interested in providing funding for the fire engine. Might be interested in speaking directly to these residents or group of residents in the, in the opportunity is... I think that means if the opportunity is available. Thank you for Jim Town's participation and support in the efforts to fund a new fire engine. 
Okay. Anything else, Dave? <coughs> nope. <coughs> Item 7, period of public comment and questions. This is for anything that is not on the agenda. Hearing none, moving on to item eight, review of applications filed. There are none of those to look at tonight. So item nine, old business, discussion and decision on amendments to town ordinances regulating seasonal weight, limit, speed limit, and abandoned vehicles. <coughs> I think we're up to snuff on abandoned vehicles. Speed limits, I think we got that done. We haven't published anything. We haven't published anything. anything. What about the seasonal weight limit? That I have not done anything. Back to the drawing board. So <coughs> Paul like kind of wanted like to talk a little bit about the that. <coughs> Would you please come to the podium and Paul? Oh, <coughs> um, <coughs> seasonal weight limits right now um, are in place during our worst periods and so I'm sitting here wondering what actually we want to try and get accomplished here. Um, where do we stand on what is maintenance of the road and what is abuse of our roads? And if you're going to set as, as I, I've kind of read and seen, you kind of want to set a limit um, I don't know what that limit you're, you're looking at is 10 tons or whatever the case may be. I've also heard you want to exempt ag, but what are you going to do about your growth? What are you going to do about the excavator to dig the basement? What are you going to do about the concrete trucks to, to make the basement? What are you going to do about hauling dirt into these roads? And um, about a year or two years ago, I came up here and spoke about um, a commercial place on Stony Creek Road. And that was one of my discussions, was that Stony Creek Road doesn't really need commercial traffic going up and down it. But yet, this board allowed that commercial development to, to happen up there. So are you now going to put a weight limit on that road so that commercial development now has to run two trucks in and out of there instead of one? I, in, in looking at our roads, I think, to be honest with you, we as residents, what we require is abusing our roads. I wouldn't say abusing the roads. Are wearing our roads probably more than anything else. The garbage trucks um, probably are our worst problem, but they aren't going to go away and we aren't going to change the structure of the way they operate a garbage truck. So I don't know where you can really take this and gain um, less wear on the roads. Uh, the road past my place, Britsky Road's been there. I've been there 30 years. We've done maintenance on it, yeah. And it's in very poor shape, yeah. But you know what, it's 40 years old. At what point? You know, do we have to put money into it? We also live in Wisconsin where we have a humongous frost problem. And again, it's just where we're at. I know it's expensive. I know I don't like to see it, but it's where we're at. And I don't think um, trying to balance where you guys want to see growth, which I've never wanted to see growth in the township myself, but where you guys want to see growth you can't turn around now and say, eh, s sorry, you can't run on our roads with, with this equipment. So I would encourage you, I guess, to leave the, the uh, limits alone. Um, as far as myself, it really won't change anything that I do. It's not going to change the ag operations if we go to an ag exemption. But I think you've made commitments to other places in the township now with the growth that you've allowed that you have to allow these places now to operate. So um, that's where I stand, folks. Thank you. No response, huh? 
<laughs> Matt, what do you think? I know well, we had I, talked about, you know, uh, through traffic. I know that's one of the things that are, it's always tough to battle with, but. Well, through traffic, it's easy to handle. If they go over the Class B weight limit, that's no problem. I think the issues that we've been experiencing with the complaints that we've been getting is, is that if they're delivering something such as dirt or concrete to a certain location is, they're exempt right now in a Class B. They can deliver that down there. Yeah, because it's Class A now. Correct. Yeah. The issue is, is I think we were looking at doing the same thing that Town of Waterloo does where they have a restricted weight limit. They would be required to get a permit. They still would be allowed to drive those vehicles down there, but they'd have to get a permit through the town, which would guarantee us in the insurance that if they damaged the road, I think that's when we were running into problems. But they didn't have to, you know, get the permit because they were delivering some product or picking product up from that location. I think those were the issues that we've always come across and we were unable to take any type of action. So that would then it would be a permitting issue. I don't think that would stop them from delivering heavy loads over the weight limit of to the 10 tons, but they'd have to get a permit to do that from the town chair or the town clerk. Well, we would guarantee them that the insurance was there also to protect the roadways if they do damage it. I think that's what we were looking at. Just updating the ordinance is what we were looking at. Right. <clears throat> you know, many things are exempt. Agricultural, forestry, those kinds of things are all exempt. And you said it uh, most succinctly that the garbage truck is the one that's probably doing the most damage. But... Um, how are you going to protect our roads? We have to use them. That's the way it is. And um, that 40-year cycle is mm -hmm. going to keep going and going and going and going. Well, that's my point. Is what is the maintenance? What is maintenance? And what is issue? You know, what is abuse? Yes. Okay. It's certainly not the first time we've juggled with this. Uh, all right. On to um, item B. The road tour report, an update on brushing and road work and discussion and decision as needed. Um, road tour. <laughs> Get your chainsaw. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> so I delivered a huge list of brushing to Glen Wolf. I've spoken with Jay Ames about the gravel and other little projects that we had. Okay. Um, they did remove that tree um, in front of London Lodge that was looking kind of treacherous. Mm. I, I asked him to come and do that right away. He will come back. Uh, I was anxious to see where we are in our highway budget before we go too much further and do too much other work. As far as wedging and stuff? Uh, yeah, no decision was really made on the wedging. I don't know, you guys want to make a decision tonight? I'd love to have cool road done. Yeah, if we know where we're at, if we could afford to do anything, it really needs to be done. I think the bid was um, $5,700. Jay, he was going to address the ends of the yes. culvert. Mm -hmm. and Has he said when he's going to get up? No. That's your only good way out, right? <laughs> I mean, no, it's getting worse yeah. again. Yeah, well, we're yeah. talking about paving now. We're not talking about the ends of the culvert. Um, let's, let's make... We felt when we looked at the culvert that it is not properly... It wasn't finished. It's not finished. And so we need to reach out and have more, of, more gravel added and make sure that the pan is draining. But the paving is what I'm concerned about. And I just didn't think we could trust that contractor to do that paving. So no. um, it would be great if we could make a decision on that tonight. How much are you going to try to spend? Um, <clears throat> like six grand. Seems like a lot to pave 12 feet of road, but it's all the well, move in, move motating to do it. Well, 
Well, I know we got money in there. Yeah. Um, we haven't, the county hasn't cashed our check. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we can be on that, though, yeah. And we will get that $24,000 mm -hmm. back. I don't know when, if they're not going to cash the check, how we're going to get that back. But They usually always hold it. I mean, it's always on the outstanding uh, list, the county. I mean, do they not have a bank, or what's the deal? I don't know. They, well, they we just, only do things once a month. Maybe they only do things once a month. Make a deposit too. once a month when you're sitting on a $28,000 <laughs> check. Yeah. Give me a break. Okay. Well, the sign billing was in, from July. Yeah, there you go. See? You know, so we don't want to rush in. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting to me. Okay. Well, I mean, okay, so honestly... I am still trying to yes. rebuild QuickBooks from the computer crash and get the election into place and everything else is going on. So I it's know. all here. It's just not an all in one place yet. Okay. So that's mm. my problem. Well, that's I why think, I'm not on top of I think we need to move so that I can talk to Payne yeah. and Dolan about $6, that. $6,000. Yeah, I mean, even if we have to. So what if I would make, make a motion to. Authorize a expenditure of no more than six thousand dollars for the paving on Cool Road at the culvert replacement. Second. Any more discussion? Hearing none. All in favor, please say aye. 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 And I'll oppose the same sign. Motion is carried. I will get a hold of him and make that happen. Do you have that list of the wedging? Yes. So we could take a look at that again sometime to see if there's... Yes, I'll um, bring that on the 23rd. Okay. And then we should have a little bit better idea of where yeah. we're at. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I know that's, the, that's really my deadline, budget time. And that's fine. No okay. problem. We'll mm -hmm. pick up the pieces from there. Yeah. Um, I did think that um, we do have an extensive amount of brushing to do. Um, we did look at some of the seal coating that had taken place last year. Haven't done any seal coating this year and I guess I was not totally happy with the results on any of those projects. I was cruising through London yesterday and was on Prairie Lane. They have recently just seal coated over there. I intend to find out who did that. <laughs> Used a chip seal. Mm -hmm. So if you have a chance Take a look at it. You know where Prairie Lane is? Off of State Farm Road. Goes down to the bike trail, comes kind of into the back end of the Oh, on the other side. Okay, yeah. I got gotcha. you. Just take a look at it. Did Scott's ever okay. talk about money? As far as I know, they said they, they owe us something, but did they ever talk about money? No, and I guess, you know, how I would like to work that out is I talked to them about giving us a seal code on Conservation Road. Right, yep. The road that we did with the uh, cold oh, asphalt yeah. treatment. Which was their work. Yeah. And I haven't really worked out how we're going to patch that spot on. Oh, right. So um, I will be seeing him at the town's convention. Maybe I can sit him down and make it happen. Sure. Get him drunk. Get him in a hurry. <laughs> okay. I don't think that's what I have to do. <laughs> <laughs> I will approach Scott, though. Scott Construction, that is. All right. Um, item 10, new business. Discussion and decision on compliance with the 2017 state statute change regarding tax collector bond. Sarah and Sharon, you want to explain this to yeah, us? Yeah, so this came up last year, and it was, um, it was, we had to make a decision in between board meetings. So after the fact, we came and told you what we did, but we really, never really gave you the chance to tell us what to do <laughs> so I it came up it now is the time again where we have to make the decision um, in August of 2017 the statute changed so that now instead of we always used to just get the surety bond always mm -hmm. every year it was annual we didn't have to make any decisions because that's the way it was they told us how much we paid to cut the check that was it now they changed the statute, so you have the choice now of either either doing the bond like always, or the municipality can assume all the responsibility of the treasurer collecting all the taxes by ordinance. Last year, we just did the status quo with the surety bond, 
figuring that we weren't going to make an ordinance to take on the responsibility ourselves anyway. Right. But it technically is your decision to make, so. All right. Sharon, they don't come over to your house anymore, do they? I mean, it's all mail-in? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And we're not collecting taxes here at the town hall anymore. No, we're not. It's all done by mail. Mm -hmm. Well, I would motion to um, the pur bond. purchase the surety bond as we have in the past. Yeah, that's second. Okay. Do we have to continue to do this every year then, or can we just say until further notice? I would make that part of my Thank motion. You. That way you can be. Um, it was nice to read the. It was nice to read the statute. So thank you for doing that. Um, all right. All in favor of purchasing the surety bond with the addendum that we will continue in this fashion until further notice. Please say aye. 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 And all opposed, the same sign. Hearing none. The surety bond is coming out. Um, B. Board expense sheet approval. Nobody's got anything. Lee, you probably got one coming. Um, sure. Next meeting. Um, correspondence, item 11. Oh, quite a bit, actually. We have another annexation. Do you want to do the questionnaire again? We've already received a lot of information about this, but Andrew Stiles' property is being annexed. There is a map here if you guys are interested in taking a look at where this is off Tyrone Park Road. Um, we already have the yard waste dates for 2019, and I thought that I should probably mention the ones for 2018 yes. since they're coming soon. It's um, November. 3rd and 17th. Okay. Then we have a inf uh, notice to inform us that a grant from the Knowles Nelson Stewardship Program has been tentatively awarded to support the acquisition of 50 acres of land located in the town of Lake Mills by Groundswell Con Conservancy for conservation and public recreational purposes. If you'd like to take a further closer look at that, you may. A couple of due diligence notices from the Dane County Planning and Development people about uh, Cottage Grove's comprehensive plan and amending the Dane County Farmland Preservation Plan. It seems like we get those periodically and they just have to notify us because we're a neighboring community. Uh, some educational uh, opportunities, local government issues, challenges, and strategies. Several items there if you want. Here's a, hum a highway safety educational opportunity. Various communities coming up in December. And then the pipeline awareness uh, periodical arrived. I don't know if anybody is. <laughs> Dave reads that. Um, I think he uh, reads that cover to cover. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> Do you get it too? Okay. So it's available. Okay. So that's what we have. All right. Item 12, a meeting scheduled, and there's a few here that I'd like to add to the list. Things are getting yeah. complicated here. Yeah. Um, October 18th. October 17th at 5.30 is a hearing on the Pi Pier placement which will happen at the community building, if you're interested. October 18th at 6 p.m. here at the town hall, I have arranged to have Corey Horton, our town's engineer, and Patricia Cicero here to help me facilitate a meeting of the Sherwood Hills neighbors in the 6600 block where the pond is. I will be sending out invitations before the end of the week I'd like you guys certainly to be here. Um, I've made arrangements for that meeting to be recorded. So that was October 18th at October what time? October 18th, 6 p.m. Here at the town hall. October 23rd, as you know, is our budget workshop here at 6 p.m. 
um, November 6th, Joint Rock Lake Committee, 6 p.m. at the City Hall. November 6th is also our general election, midterm election from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. here at the Town Hall. The Planning Commission will meet on Wednesday, November 7th, the day after the election. Um, the next town meeting will be November 13th with a public hearing on the budget and a special meeting of the electors to approve the highway budget at 7.30 at the town hall. And also on the 13th, our regular town board meeting at 8 p.m. So we got a busy month coming up along with all these checks and we'll work that out on the 9th. Um, that's all I have. We will, I will motion, I, I have to read this? Mm -hmm. I hope it was like on, what day is it? Thursday, October 4th, 2018, at the, proper, at the properly noticed and called town board meeting of the town of Lake Mills in Jefferson County, with a quorum of the town board members present and voting, as a voting and authorized member of the town board, move and request that the town board now for a close, that the, request the town board for now for a closed session of the town board under statute 19.85 Wisconsin statutes. And I move and request for the record in the town board minutes, a roll call vote of the town board members present and voting on this motion. I respectfully include in this motion and request that the town board approve the following persons to be allowed to enter and remain in the approved closed session subject to the individual or group removal of any persons from the closed session at any time by a majority vote of the town board members present and voting in the closed session. Uh, named persons would be our attorney, Mr. Lee Leverton. <clears throat> The town board will be adjourning at the end of the closed session. We do not need to reconvene. The nature of the business to be considered in the closed session is, is specific to the nature of business of the board. How's that? I guess I will second your motion. All right. Is there roll. any discussion? We need a roll call. Yeah, I think yes. have a roll call. Yeah, okay. Right. Sounds good. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, a roll call vote. Okay, it was Yes. Schrader. Yes. Peterson. Yes. All right. 